It's Habib. There he is. He's got a sponge. He's got a spray bottle. He's going to clean some things up. Well, it's good he's out here with this cleaning material, Alex, because I still feel a little dirty from what we just saw in that prior match. Look, that's a, I got to admit, that's a pretty... That's a pretty endearing dance that he does there on the ring apron. Yeah, bringing some much-needed joy to, to the event after what we've just seen. There's still a cloud hanging over Donnell in New Jersey, but I think if anyone is capable of relieving us of this feeling of misery, it is a beat from the car wash. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Getting himself nice and misted, pumped up for this match. Let's see who's going to clean up today. Oh... And ladies and gentlemen, this is a man who made a big impact last month at Pro Wrestling Explosion. It is Alex Kane. And, and is he coming out alone tonight, or will he be with his manager? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's Shane Hagedorn. And there's Alex Payne. You know, Alex Payne, you can get off the phone for a match here at Pro Wrestling Explosion. We're not paying you to chat. Yeah, it's not going to be very easy for a beast to overcome this one. I mean, not only does he have to deal with Alex Payne, who's a competitor in his own right, but Shane Hagedorn is certainly not going to make it easy for Habib to come out with a victory. Here. Shane Hagedorn always a presence on the outside of the ring. And Shane Hagedorn has, has no problem with interfering when it suits his needs. Yeah, I, I mean, Habib's in there ready to fight him. They're just out here. What, what is this music for here? You know, I, 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 it doesn't look like the music or sound like the music that uh, someone who claims to be a competitor like Alex Payne would listen to, but I'm not really sure. Alex Payne. Now he's spending more time with the audience instead of focusing on Habib in the ring who's ready to go. This might cost Alex Payne in the long run. You know, run. Alex Payne has all the ability in the world. Alex Payne has a chance to be a champion. I should correct myself. He has all the chance to be the world heavyweight wrestling champion, and he's wasting time with this showing off. He's wasting time appealing to the fans. He's wasting time calling people before a match. He's more worried about the way he looks than the way he wrestles, and that's the Achilles heel of a man who, frankly, is an amazing talent, Alex. Well, you know, I think that's why the fans are against it. They, they just don't. They know he's not here to wrestle for them. You know, he doesn't even look like he's here to wrestle. That's why I gotta hope Habib comes out with a victory tonight. You know, we have the greatest fans in the world. Pro Wrestling Explosion fans, all they want to see is competitors live up to the promise of their abilities. And Alex Payne is out here and he's not taking it seriously. He's showing off. He's got Shane Hagedorn in the corner who's already giving the referee grief. Why don't you just get in the ring and wrestle, Alex Payne? Why don't you show us what you can do based on your athleticism and your technical prowess? Why don't you stop showboating and get in there and give Habib from the car wash a fair chance? Well, Hagedorn seems to have some issue with Habib's cleaning products. He, he's claiming that's the reason for the delay, but I think he's just playing mind games here to see if Habib can overcome not one, but pretty much two competitors here. I think Habib was ready for a pat down and the referee's gonna let him slide. Let's see how long we have to wait for Alex Payne to disrobe before we can get this match underway. Well, I, I mean, I do understand that is a nice jacket. I wouldn't want to get it all wrinkled. But maybe his little errand boy can uh, take it to the dry cleaners for him and get out of the ring. You know, this is, a, this is not only a clash of styles, it's not only a clash of two competitors, it's a, it's a clash of lifestyles. You see Alex Payne, he's in there with those beautiful clothes, he has all these designer threads, and over in the other corner, he'll be from the car wash, wearing the only shirt that he owns, that blue work shirt, those khakis that are stained with oil, stained with grease. He's been on his, his hands and knees most of the day working on cars. This is a man who doesn't worry about what he's wearing. He doesn't worry about how he looks. He worries about how he competes. And so we're going to see, really, if work ethic can overcome arrogance can overcome entitlement right here in this match. It's bigger than pro wrestling, Alex. Well, Habib looks ready once again, and, you know, unfortunately, we're still waiting for this diva-esque performance by Alex Payne. The big reveal of a... Uh, the big reveal of a chest that I must say is not all that impressive. Are 
Are they chanting Sugarfoot? Well, Hayden does not seem to be liking whatever it is the crowd's chanting right now. He might not be able to continue. Getting a little pepped up from uh, Hagedorn here. Hagedorn in the corner now trying to inspire Alex Payne to forget about what the fans are saying. But we already saw it during his entrance, Alex, that he is overly preoccupied with what these fans are doing and what these fans are saying during his match. He should be preoccupied with a B. Looks like we might actually get underway here. Finally. All right. Oh. Now I must say, here we go. Officially match underway. Abib trying to clean the, the foot, clean the chest of Alex Payne. Alex Payne wants none of it. Alex Payne oh. explodes from the corner and now just hammering right hands, hammering headbutts onto Habib. Big suplex coming up here apparently by Alex. Reversal by Habib. He's right. going for a roll. Oh. But Alex shrewdly holds on. Alex now with the big clothesline ducked under by Habib. Habib coming over with the snap man. And Habib right into the side headlock. Ooh, but spun out by Payne. And now Payne in control. Beautiful groundwork to begin this match. You know, for all we say about Alex Payne, for all the criticisms we might have, he really is an excellent competitor, Alex. And, you know, maybe that's where some of the arrogance comes from. But... I'm sure his whole life he's been told how great he is. I'm sure his entire life people have been celebrating his natural gifts, Alex. And when you carry that history of entitlement and that history of praise into the squared circle, you're bound to act like a demon. Well, he certainly mastered that act. And that's why, you know, it would just be a great thing to see Habib come out with the victory today. Someone who's worked hard, consistently working hard, not only for himself, but for the fans here at Pro Wrestling Explosion. Looks like he deserves the victory. Let's see if he can get it. Beautiful, elegant landing by Habib on the outside. He's got the spray bottle. <laughs> there you go. Now that's something that needs to be cleaned for sure. Here we go. Oh, impressive agility by Habib. Springboard cross body by Habib. Habib's all over that ring. And Alex to the outside. Habib following right back up. Uh, and there's Hagedorn. Hagedorn. Kicking his head in the match again. Oh. oh, big German suplex by Alex Payne. And look at that. And look at that devious smile on the face of Alex Payne. Just weirdly rubbing his face for no reason. You know, it seems Payne underestimated Habib and was getting taken advantage of. Big headbutt by Alex Payne. All it took was Hagedorn. One distraction and Payne's back on top. Alex Payne now just taunting. That was a that was sort of a half Charleston there by Alex Payne. I don't know why he did that. Big headbutt. No, oh, and now just yelling. Raining down insults at Habib. You know, Habib hears enough of this all day. People pull into the car wash, they're not happy with the with the, the job that he does. And he has to he has to hear these complaints. He has to hear these insults. He doesn't need this in the wrestling room. Come on, Habib. You really want to see him get a, get the victory here. But it looks like that hit from behind after Hagedorn interfered might be too much for him. And now just throwing Habib from the car wash into the corner. Oh, he's limp. Alex Payne now distracting the referee. And we know why, because Hagedorn's on the apron. You see Hagedorn just choking Habib, grabbing Habib by the hair, pulling, perhaps jealous of Habib's hair. Oh, and the insult to injury hits him with the, his own spray bottle right in the eyes. Habib does not look good. Oh, this, this is ridiculous. This is, this is absolutely respect. ridiculous. Oh, but Habib, you know, Habib fighting back. Come on, Habib. Habib now going low. Big right hand. Another big right hand. Driving Alex into the corner. And look at Alex Payne grabbing the belt. You know, is there any level that Alex Payne won't stoop to? Is there nothing too low for this man? It's a shame he doesn't need to stoop that low. He doesn't need to stoop that low, but he brings Shane Hagedorn out to ringside with him. He's using all of these he's using all of these distraction techniques on Habib. He's pulling Habib's belt buckle. Hagedorn's pulling Habib's hair. And now look, he's gained the upper hand. But how? How? Through cheating. That's how. Well, Habib has a lot of heart. I'll, I'll give him that much. And 
even though he looks out right now, you know, we might see a little bit more from Habib. That's what I'm hoping for. Because uh, it would be a shame to see a privileged guy like Alex Payne with his little lackey Shane Havidorn come out on top tonight. Waiting out. Beautiful. Waiting for the backslide, and he got it. And that's what I'm talking about there. Oh, but again. It seems like every time Habib gets a little bit of a flurry of offense, Alex is able to cut him right back off. And you've got to admit that Alex has been in control the duration of this match. Alex Payne now once again becoming preoccupied with the fans. That was a very, very, very stiff kick to the face by Alex Payne. Habib reeling into the corner. Alex Payne back again, taunting the fans. Alex could have ended this match five, ten minutes ago if he weren't so preoccupied with the fans, Alex. But that's where Habib has a chance. You know, Alex Payne might be his own undoing in this match. Habib looks out in the corner, but Alex Payne is just taking his time now. Seemingly enjoying inflicting this punishment on Habib. There is a sadistic streak in Alex Payne, and we've seen it before. We saw it last month. This is a man who not only enjoys the glory of being out there, not only, not only enjoys being celebrated for who he is, but he also enjoys inflicting pain on others. And here he's getting a chance. Habib's getting a chance to inflict some pain here. Habib now. Beautiful. Oh. Habib with a big clothesline. That's what I'm talking about. A big back elbow by Habib. Seems like he's gotten his second in. Hagedorn went for the interference. Oh, and, and a big boot. Uh, that was a purely defensive maneuver and a spinning back heel kick by Habib. Habib rolls Alex Payne into the corner. One, two. Only a two count. Oh, I thought that could have been it. Habib really lit the fire under him. Let's see if he can keep it up here. That was probably Habib's best chance for a victory thus far in this context, Alex. Alex Payne now following Habib in the corner. Back elbows by Habib. Oh, he's going for a slice bread number two. He hits it. That could be it. One, two. Oh, oh played two count. That. that was very, very close. Habib looks like he's frustrated, but he's got to keep working. He's got to keep pounding away. He's got to keep chipping away at Alex Payne. He's getting closer. That was a near fall. Is he calling for the end? Uh, Reversal by Alex Payne. Springboard. Oh, and this time, he went to the well once too often. Alex now dragging him to his feet, picking him up. Huge brain buster by Alex Payne. That could be it. But no, wait, is he going for the figure four? Oh, no. And he can take no more. That's the end, and Alex Payne. Alex Payne scored the victory with the help, I might add, of Shane Hagedorn. And there's Shane Hagedor, and I hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah, this is just one of those moments that, you know, where it's hard to be a wrestling fan. Seeing somebody like Hadid come out there, like some offense underneath him, and ultimately not able to overcome the double attack from Hagedor, Alex Payne, and some pretty impressive maneuvers comes out with the victory. But I just really want to see Hadid got the victory at one point. Habib being, being helped to the back, Alex Payne left to celebrate in the ring there. Shane Hagedorn. Shane Hagedorn. Look at him. So proud. So proud of himself. You know, he really is proud of himself for something he has very little to do with. Next so time you put us on for a mission, there is going to be hell to pay. Oh, that's a pretty strong threat from Hagedorn. Taking issue with the taking issue with the match order. Well, looks like if Alex Payne's gonna come back, he wants to be on the top of the card. You know, surprising he's not interacting with the crowd a little more after that victory. He's very giving himself a very, very, very sensual massage. That's because he's a quite self-absorbed individual. Now self-care is important, Alex. This is a message not for Habib, not for Joe Gacy, not for Worker Ant. This message is directly towards PWE management. The next time you have the audacity to put my best friend Alex on before an intermission, much less not in the main event, not on the posters, not the key advertising feature, 
there is going to be hell to pay! Hell to pay! Hell to pay! Two and oh! What do I got to prove? PWE, look at this! Look at this! Direct look! Is my pretty face on this advertisement? I don't think so! You have some lizard guy, you have Chris Hero, you have all these other schmucks. None of them are 2 and oh. None of them. I, I should be granted right now with a championship around my waist. I should be in main events. But what am I doing? I'm wrestling before intermission. This is a travesty. This is garbage. And by the next time we return, if I'm not somewhere higher on the card, it doesn't matter how we get there. If we have to take the show hostage, we will. If we have to destroy whoever gets put in that main event, we will. We'll make it a three-way, a four-way, five, six, seven, eight. We don't give a damn if it's the whole locker room. Alex Payne will be your main event. And ignore those chants.